All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing, as usual, since we're at a half break for The Walking Dead, gonna be doing my death predictions for next half. That'll be the second half of The Walking Dead season six. So as usual, love to do my predictions for the next section of The Walking Dead during each break. Did one for uh, season six, of course, gonna do one for the second half now. So uh, this one will not contain spoilers. None of uh, you know the characters' uh, deaths that have been rumored or spoiled online uh, am I gonna be touching on or talking about. Those of you who know the spoilers, you, know, you already know. If you don't know and you wanna know, you can go watch my video where we talk about the spoilers. And please try to keep this to predictions only for the comments. Uh, you know, people who uh, you know, don't know about the spoilers can can go and watch that video i'll put the link in the description for the group that is leaving at the end of start to finish the mid-season finale and who's going to survive out of that group who isn't um, there's only a few uh characters there that we're not sure about or we don't know uh, most of that's been spoiled already the one that we don't know is uh, judah so we're not going to talk about who is going to survive or who's not out of that group um, to, to avoid any kind of potential spoilers for people that don't want to know uh, for judith i think judith is going to survive um you know, I talked about this with uh, Kwame the other day in our Q&A, and that is just, it would just feel really weird if uh, they were to kill a baby on you know, cable, especially female baby. I mean, male baby would be bad too, but uh, to kill a baby on cable would be really, really bad. So I feel like she survived up until this point. I think she's going to survive, uh, you know, leaving the house and whatever happens there. And I think she's going to she's gonna be able to get away. So, um, yeah, so there's her. Uh, now, the list of characters is huge for The Walking Dead right now. I mean, we have so many survivors. There are more survivors than we've ever had before. As you add in all the Alexandria characters, you have Rick and the rest. We're even getting to know some of the uh, saviors now. We got to see Dwight with the other female he's with, whose name seems to be argued in the wikia. She's named Honey. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that uh, she'll be killed off. Uh, we may not even see that on screen. Um, but if her and Dwight are captured, which we're imagining they will be by the rest of the saviors, um, you know, it seems to me that uh, she may be killed off and uh, and Dwight, uh, of course, will be punished for what he's done. But I, I will assume Dwight, of course, will, will survive this half. Um, so starting from our group of survivors, let's start with Sasha. So I feel like Sasha is, is basically safe at this time. I don't see them killing her off anytime soon. I think she's going to be a carrot. It's going to be around for a really long time. And uh, yeah, so I think she's probably good. Uh, next, we'll go with the, uh, the Alpha Wolf. Uh, the Alpha Wolf, I'm going to say yes to. Uh, I think that's a pretty easy one. I, I'd be very surprised to see him survive all the way through Season 6 into Season 7. You know, what would they do with him? How would he be used if he's to join the group of survivors, the good guys, so to speak? Why would they let him join? Would Rick ever be cool with letting him join after what he did? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think he'd be down with that. Morgan, yeah, Morgan would probably be okay with it, but I don't think Rick would ever be. Uh, and the other Alexandria people as well, too, you know, he attacked them. So I don't think they'd be okay with him surviving either. I mean, they did kill uh, Peter. And this guy is basically responsible for uh, a lot more than just one character being killed in terms of the Alexandrian characters, uh, many of them. So, you know, that with the whole assault, the whole attack, and uh, in turn ended up causing the huge herd of zombies to wind up at the, uh, at the gate, so to speak. And now inside, right? So... Yeah, the Alpha Wolf, I can't see him surviving this half. I think he's, I think he's dead. Uh, Michonne, she is one we'll talk about. For her, I think she's safe. Uh, I think she's one of the safest characters for sure. I can't see them killing off Michonne anytime soon. I'm going to put her as definitely not. Heath is another new character uh, that we're just still getting to know. And, uh, you know, he is a character that is uh, very important in the Walking Dead comic series. Or maybe not very important, but he's important. He's one of the strong, uh, you know, uh, Alexandrian survivors that is around for a long time. So I think Heath is safe as well, too. Um, Aaron and Eric. So Aaron, I think I'd say he's, he's safe as well. Eric, um, who knows? We haven't really seen him at all. We may not even see him that much in the second half of season six. Hard to say, you know, who's going to get time, who's not. But I'm going to go with him probably safe because I don't even know if we're going to get any scenes with him because we haven't really had any in the first half hardly at all, um, you know, whatsoever. Uh, then we have uh, Glenn, of course. So Glenn is an interesting one. I'm going to go with no. I think I think Glenn's going to survive. I don't think Glenn's going to be killed off. Um, yeah, I think after Thank You, after it was kind of a close call, I think he's good now. I feel like, you know, he should survive. He should survive through the finale. And, uh, you know, even though his close call was there and a lot of people thought he was killed at that point, including me, 
now that they've kind of brought him back, it would be weird if they killed him again or they fully killed him now. Uh, it feels like he's he's kind of got his past. They thought about killing him. It was there. And they decided to let him survive in the television series version, uh, which is awesome. So I think he's going to make it. Then we have characters like Maggie, of course, to touch on, and Enid, related to Glenn, of course. Both safe. I, I can't see them killing off either one of them in the second half at all. I think they're good. Um, let's see who else we got. We got Gabriel. Uh, him as well. I wish they would, but I don't think they're going to. I think Gabriel is probably safe for the most part. I think he's fine. We've got Tara. Um, Tara is another one. I think she's probably safe. She's probably going to be fine. I, I, she's she's an interesting character for them to keep around because she comes from a different walk of life than everybody else, right? She's like the only one who was introduced from that governor section of season four that is still um, you know, alive. So if they kill her off, it's kind of like they're closing the end to that section of the story. By keeping her on, we have a survivor that comes from a different place in the series and everybody else in a different section. Uh, unlike, you know, you have Rosita, Abraham, and Eugene that all came in together, and a lot of the characters joined together, like the, uh, the Green family and that. She's a character that is the last survivor of that section. So I feel like for her, they're probably going to keep her around for a long time. Uh, plus, we started to see maybe the beginning of a relationship between her and Denise, which is a little fun. Um, so I think she's probably good for a while. Next is going to be Eugene. I've had a couple people email me. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, ask me if I think Eugene is going to develop the skills to survive. Eugene, I think, is a different type of survivor. I think he's a survivor that is basically a hider. He's a, he's a weak survivor. Morgan talks about the weaker people. He's one of them. And uh, he can just hide and survive. He's smart. He's really scared, and uh, you know he, he won't get himself into any harm's way, I don't think. So I think Eugene is going to survive the long term. I'm going to put him as safe. Same with Rosita. I feel like she's still fairly new. I mean, she isn't, but she hasn't had that much time as you know some of the other characters that have been around for a long time. And I think she's probably good. I don't see any curveballs with her or Eugene and them throwing us through any kind of loop by killing them off. Uh, when in the comic book series, you know, one of the two of them, I won't spoil, is still alive. Uh, way further in the future, way, way down the line. Uh, and again, the TV series is different, so we don't know what they're going to do, right? They switch characters out all the time. They change things. It's how it is. Uh, next is going to be Tobin uh, from Alexandria. He's the bigger guy who's helping Rick build the uh, defense and that. I'm going to say yes for him. I think he will get killed off at some point, uh, you know, in, in the second half of season six. Could just be haphazardly. Could be from the zombies. Could be in the first couple episodes. Um, or I could just see him being a character like any other Alexandrian that could be killed off any time. Next one is Carol. She was called the safest character in the show by Kirkman. Um, I think that he's not trying to lie to us about that. I think he's being honest about that. I do think Carol is probably one of the safest characters. I just can't see them killing her off at this point. She's so unique. She's so interesting. She's kind of like a Michonne that never existed in the comic books. Uh, Michonne in the comic books is a mainstay. She's been there like all the way through the series pretty much from the time she was introduced. And she's still surviving to this point in the comic book series, which is awesome. Um, Carol, I think, is like that with the TV series. I think she'll be there pretty much straight through until maybe Melissa McBride gets bored and decides she's had enough Walking Dead time. Maybe they kill her off at that point. And I don't think that's yet. I think she's still having fun. I think that it's a great role and a special role for the TV series. So Carol should be there. Now, Morgan. So, so Morgan is an interesting one. I do think they're going to... I don't think Morgan is a long, long-term survivor. I don't think so. From the feel that we're getting from the first half of Season 6, I, I can't see Morgan being a Season 10 survivor. He's a great fighter. He's one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters we've ever seen. I mean, even to the point where he'll, he beats Carol, he beats all the other wolves and everybody he faces. Uh, aside from Eastman, he's basically undefeated after that point. Once he learned how to use the bow, uh, him using it, he is awesome. He beat the main wolf, the alpha wolf, twice and one of his buddies. I mean, he's one of our best hand-to-hand -hand fighters right up there with Michonne with her katana, uh, you know, with, with his bow. He's amazing. But... That said, he could still get shot. You know, it, it, it won't necessarily be somebody, I think, that would kill him. Um, I think he's good against zombies, of course, because he's got that. And he will uh, be able to beat people in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. But I feel like him letting the Alpha Wolf survive, letting other characters survive, is a big mistake. We've seen it before with many characters. Like, for example, uh, Tyrese, for example, did that with, with Martin. And then Martin came back to... Uh, to basically screw him over and, and, and kill Bob and that, even though Bob was was basically already bitten anyway. But, um, you know, just that idea. Glenn kind of gave Nicholas too much slack and it almost killed him. So I think with Morgan, I don't think he's going to be killed off right away. I think he's good for season six. 
But I think season seven, you know, he's one of the more likely ones for the end of this season, I think. I don't think he's a long-term, long-term survivor unless he's willing to change, which could be interesting to see. But he's already changed full circle once. He's already done a 180 once. Um, you know, I don't see him going fully. I don't know. He, he's, he's, a, he's a tricky one, but I don't think he's going to be around in season 10 or 11 is what I'm saying. I do think he's going to be killed off either. Maybe not this half, but season seven, I think, might uh, be a safe bet for him. Then we have Spencer. So Spencer's another one. Uh, Deanna has asked Rick to keep Spencer safe, to, to keep him alive. Um, he's the last member of his family, so to speak, kind of similar to Tara in that way. Um, but I don't think he's going to be a long-term survivor either. I think he will be killed off um, either season seven, maybe this half season six. I put him up there as one of the more likely ones that could be near the end of the season. Because uh, you know how we usually get a couple deaths near the end of the season, like maybe one big one in the finale and then a couple, maybe a couple episodes prior, that kind of deal. I could see him being one like that or maybe Morgan. Next one's going to be Denise. So she's in a lot of trouble right now with the Alpha Wolf. I think that she will actually survive. I think she's going to make it. I uh, just got a feeling about it because I feel like she's in so much danger right now. The Alpha Wolf kind of needs her to help him, to, to cure him, this kind of deal, help him uh, get back to health. <coughs> so I think I think that Denise is going to make it. I think she's going to survive. Uh, then we have basically Abraham. Uh, he's another one a lot of people have been talking about. Will he get killed off soon? Um Will it be season six, season seven, season eight? I, I think somewhere around there. But this half, I don't see it just yet, unless they use him as kind of like a couple episodes prior to the big, uh, the big, uh, you know, finale. And then um, the final one, of course, uh, Daryl. He's actually the one who's voted number one right now from the polls that I've put up uh, in the channel for who might be killed off in the in the finale of this season. I've done a video talking about possibly some foreshadowing, the helmet thing, protect your head type deal. Um, check out that video if you're interested in seeing it. And I do think that Daryl, we may see, this may be the last season for Daryl. Season six, season seven could be the last one. Uh, could be completely wrong. Again, it's a prediction, and I've been wrong with lots of my predictions over the years. It's hard to you know tell who, who's going to be killed off and that kind of deal. Um, but I think that Daryl, Dwight, you have them both. Are you going to have two guys with crossbows? What's going to happen with that? I'd love to see Daryl survive all the way through the series, but I just have a feeling, kind of have a hunch that Daryl will be killed off, I think, at the end of this season. I think he might be the one chosen. I mean, it could be him, Morgan, Spencer, but right now he is the most likely in the polls that people think. Uh, will be killed off in the channel. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and do the updated death predictions video for you guys. There's other characters, of course, in the show that I haven't talked about here, but these are all basically the main ones, minus the ones that are in the main group to avoid spoilers. So check out those other videos if you guys like. Check out the spoiler video if you want to know who's going to die out of that group because it's basically all spoiled and uh, what's going to happen. And because of that as well, because of some of the big characters that have been spoiled in terms of deaths, uh, I do think that uh, we may not see that many, but I think for the finale, we're really talking about that of season six. I think that Daryl's up there and uh, Morgan, Spencer, these types of characters. So write your comments below. Let me know who you guys think are going to be killed off this uh, this half season in the back half of season six. Can't wait to see it. Negan's uh, you know uh, first appearance, rival and everything. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we might be seeing the final season for Daryl. Wouldn't that be crazy if they did that? That would be the biggest death in the series so far for sure. Uh, write your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. Please do. Don't forget, uh, you can share if you've got uh, you know Facebook or Google+. Plus. Share through to Facebook. Share through Google+. Plus. I appreciate it. And, of course, you can add to favorites. It also helps out as well. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. If you guys are new, you can subscribe to the bottom left. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace.